A is younger than B, seven times the difference between their ages is equal to sum of their ages. Ratio of B's age after 12 years and A's percentage is 5 to 3. Then what is A's percentage? Okay, so the target of the question is uh, to find A's percentage. Okay, I assume A's percentage as lower case A. And also I assume uh, B's present age as lower case B. Here the question uh, says A is younger than B. So there is this lower case A, which refers to A's present age, uh, is smaller value. And uh, the lower case B refers to uh, the percentage of B, larger value. So if I want to find the difference uh, between uh, the percentages of A and B, uh, I have to subtract this A from B. So because A is smaller, B is uh, uh, larger. So whenever you want to get the difference between the two values, uh, usually you subtract a smaller value from larger value. So then we get B negative A. So this B negative A represents the difference between the uh, percentages of A and B. Okay, so from the information in the question, we have seven times the difference between the ages. Already we got the difference between the percentages. So now we have to take seven times. That means the difference has to be multiplied by seven. Okay, now uh, when you continue the information, seven times the difference between the ages is equal to sum of their ages. That means this is equal to sum of their ages, that is A positive B. Okay, now let's simplify this equation. We can distribute this seven to B and negative A. Then I'm getting seven B negative seven A is equal to A positive B. Okay, now uh, I'm just going to combine the like terms. So for that, I'm adding uh, 7A to both sides. And also I subtract uh, B from both sides. So this positive B negative B will cancel out. Negative A positive, negative 7A positive 7 will cancel out. When I combine this 7, 7B negative B, it will be 6B. And when I combine uh, A and uh, positive 7A, it will be positive 8A. Okay, both six and are multiples of uh, six and eight are multiples of two. So I divide uh, both of them by two. So when I simplify six over two, it will be three. That is three B on the left side, and eight over two is four, and we have four A on the right side. I consider this is equation number one. Okay, so please remember uh, we have to find the value of lower case A that refers to A's percentage. That's the target of the question. Okay, now let's use the other information we have on the question. That is a uh, ratio of B's age after 12 years. Okay, the present age of B is lower case B, then B's age after 12 years uh, will be B positive 12. So this B positive 12 refers to the age of B after 12 years. Okay, A's present age, that is lower case A. So the ratio between B's age after 12 years and A's present age. So I'm doing ratio between uh, the B's age after 12 years and A's percentage. So the question says uh, the ratio between uh, B's age after 12 years and A's percentage is equal to 5 to 3. So this ratio is equal to 5 to 3. Okay, now uh, we can write uh, both the ratios as fractions. Then I get B positive 12 over A equals to 5 over 3. Okay, now we can do cross multiplication. Then I get 3 times B positive 12 is equal to 5 times A. Okay, now uh, we can distribute this 3 to B and 12. So I'm getting 3B positive 36 is equal to 5A. Okay, since my target is to find the value of lower case A, so I have to get this equation completely in the uh, unknown lower case A. So for that, I have to replace this B by A. So from the first equation, I know that 3B equals to 4A. Since 3B equals to 4A, here I can replace this 3B by 4A because 4A is a 1 which is equal to 3B. So I get 4A positive 36 is equal to 5A. So now I subtract 4A from both sides. So it's positive 4A, negative 4A will cancel out. I get 36 is equal to A. So now I got the value of A. So this lower case A uh, refers to A's percentage. So the A's percentage is 36 years.